Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are with a new Kia EV6 and in this video we will drive it. I will make the test drive a proper test drive and I will explain you everything about the driving feeling like suspension, visibility, comfort, steering and all that stuff. So stay with me until the end of the video if you want to find out everything about that. Now guys, before I go forward, I want to give you some technical data and then we will start driving so you will know which version I have with me right here. So today I have with me the EV6 version with 77.4 kilowatt hour battery is the rear wheel drive version with 229 horsepower, 350 Newton meters. Also, it comes with a one speed automatic transmission and it's a rear wheel drive. As I said before, the range of the car in VLTP estimated 510 kilometers. Also, if you find a charger that can charge so fast, the car is capable of charging with maximum 350 kilowatt. That means you can charge the car in around 20 minutes full if you find that fast charging station. So it's just incredible. It's one of the fastest charging car in the world. Of course, the Ioniq 5, Hyundai Ioniq 5 can do that the same and yeah it's incredible now the top speed of the car 185 kilometers 0 to 107.5 seconds also the car come with ventilated brake discs in the front ventilated brake discs on the rear that's in comparison with Volkswagen Group with ID cars that comes with drum brakes on the rear. This EV come with ventilated brake discs. That's incredible. More than it need, I should say. Anyway, the car come also with 19 inch rims. Also the trunk space, 490 liters. If you fold down, the seats will have 1,300 liters. Also the car come with independent McPherson coil spring with anti-roll bar suspension in the front. On the rear, we have multi-link coil spring with anti-roll bar. Those are the most important information, guys. Also, I want to tell you that I'm in Switzerland here in Bern at Emil Frey. If you want to check them out, I will leave the link in the description so you can uh, test drive the car. You can see the car right here at them. So check them out, guys. Now, the price of the car, because I know it's very important. The starting price, it's 54,450 francs. The base is price the starting price of the car and if you add some options for example here the car have option of around 3730 that mean you have included the heating pump that it's really recommended in the winter time just go for it guys 1250 francs extra it's totally deserve it i stay the last 10 50 minutes i think i stay in the car with the heating on with the steering heating on and also the heat on the seat on and we still have 93 percent battery and i start with 93 percent battery so it's super efficient in the winter time so i love that really really good job kia going forward another option here is the ambient package where you have included automatic lift gate the metallic color what more the tinted windows also it is the electric lift gate in the trunk and yeah you can read it for yourself you can pause the video and then the final price with all this option will be 58,180 francs i will add the price in dollars so you can make an idea it's a quite good price in my opinion for uh, what the car offer and then of course another information for you guys the consumption 16.5 kilowatt hour and the weight of the car 2075 kilograms those are the most important technical data let's drive the car guys and then in the end we will make the conclusion so let's do it all right guys here we are with the new kia ev6 and here is the key it's super nice key i like very much the way they put those buttons on the side right here it's really really cool i will show you and i will talk a little bit more about the key in the review video i will have a separate video the full review uh with the same car so check out next days on the channel what you can do with the key of course lock the car the car come with electric folding mirrors and also the cool part is that when you unlock the car guys let me close it when you come here and unlock the car you don't need to use the the, the key all you have to do put your finger here and look at this the handles will come out automatic because the car have this option but if you don't buy this option you will have to do it manually you will have to press manually here but look at this how nice it is it's, it's a great feature also what i like very much is this led lights right here on the let me show you again and when you unlock the car you have an led light right here on the both sides on the spoiler it's for the first time when i see that and in the night time look just wonderful the spoiler the car itself look just incredible guys anyway let's drive it and then 
I will talk more about those things in the full review video so don't miss it next days on the channel all you have to do go inside leave the key right here the car come also with electric adjustable seats so you can adjust it in every position you want it's really really cool also i like this futuristic center console here look amazing the car come with auto hold anyway press the brake press the ev button start button and then the car it's on right now it's really nice down there we have two usb ports one usb c one usb normal usb then we have a lot of space down here also usb port 12 volt port a lot of space under this center console but all about that check out the other video the review video guys here's some storage space charging your phone wireless here is the climatic system by the way and also you can transform it in some kind of shortcut buttons if you press this little buttons but all about that i will explain you in another video today it's all about driving guys what is the most important is that here we have three buttons auto hold the car come with auto hold of course you can activate it here is the parking sensors and here is the camera when you press the camera button you will see the camera in the reverse also you can change the view we don't have that 360 degrees amazing view that we find it in other cars from kia and hyundai but still have the normal camera i'm not sure if you can get that as an option uh, also the great part is that you can save the seats you have electric seat adjustable electric mirrors a lot of soft material here even the seats are super super nice i will talk about them in the review video a little bit more it's a combination between leather and stuff material the steering wheel it's it's incredible it's amazing it's futuristic it's new it has a great great size and grip and you have a great visibility to the cockpit to the multimedia here in the middle uh, also you have three buttons here for uh, heating steering and a heating seat for you and for the passenger here um, in the front electronic handbrake it's here on the left side and also traction control button it's here so that's something to keep in mind also you have the driving mode here on the steering wheel a nice button uh, and if you press it you can change three different driving modes echo mode normal mode and sport mode and also if you hold it a few seconds you will go in snow mode like it is now super snowy super icy on the road i think this is the best modes to test it today anyway we will start in echo mode and yeah the cockpit it's it's very similar with ionic 5 it's great and also i like the way they are arrayed here the way they put it a little bit round remember me a little bit of the new bmw screen it's super super nice also uh we have this multimedia system that i will talk a little bit more also in the other video it's much better because we don't have time we have to focus on driving i want to show you also another thing before we start driving is the pedals behind the steering wheel we have plus and minus and if you look here in the corner you can change the let me show you let i think you have to be in drive mode and you can go in level two level three maximum that mean regenerative brake it's i pedal that means it's it's using uh just the, the acceleration pedal when you take the foot off the car will stop for example let me show you 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 accelerate right now and then when you take the foot the car will go to a stop and look at this it will brake and stop completely also you have the option to level three to change the regenerative brake level one level zero or if you press it a few seconds you go to auto mode and the car will choose for you anyway first of all i want to go with level one and then we will go forward let me put the seat belt also what i notice is the visibility it's super good around the windows you have quite big mirrors big windows you have also blind spot technology in the corner it's quite good visibility also in this mirror here so yeah i'm not complaining in terms of visibility it's very very good the climatic system it's on we have 92 percent battery i just want to also reset this so we will see also the consumption we are in echo mode right now and yeah let's drive it so it's quite silent inside the cabin here um also you have a tall driving position so actually you are really tall on the on the on the ride so you have perfect perfect visibility also if you go in reverse let me show you look at this the camera it's quite clear and you can see very well there also i like very much this wheel here it's so easy to change the gears you just rotate this wheel left and right it's just super super nice now regenerative one it's su it's like super slow but you go to maximum and you will see the car it stopped completely it will regenerate it will regenerate at maximum until the car will stop completely 
so now we are on the maximum regeneration in echo mode and you can see right here we approach the roundabout I take out the foot of the acceleration and I don't need I don't need to use the brakes because the car will will completely stop and it's quite powerful I feel that Okay, great on the curves. I like the suspension. I take a few bumps and suspension are super good. So inside the cabin it's quite nice and quiet. Love it. Actually, let's go outside on the highway guys. We can test also the acceleration. Let's go on the sport mode right now. I have maximum regenerative brake. Also, I have auto hold, so here you just press the brake and auto hold will hold the car here. You don't have to hold all the time the foot on the brake. Um, yeah, we still have 92% battery. It says 376 kilometer range in sport mode. It's very silent inside. I take a few small bumps like this one and I, I notice that the car is doing great. 350 Newton meters, it's more than enough. And here on the highway, Oh yeah, oh, it feels quite nice, okay, I love it, great control, great acceleration, even though it's a rear wheel drive, I think it's doing great, oh yeah, and right now you can see the, the regenerative brake, it's super strong, wow, I like it, I like it at maximum, it's just, it's just great. nice oh yeah it push you a little bit in the in the seat that's nice I like that it feels it feels quite good quality to be honest the pedals the acceleration the regenerative brake um, the the way it feels when you drive it it feels awesome you can see we have blind spot technology in the corner that warn you when a car it's in the left or right side that's great I like it to be honest I really really like it it's it's more comfortable than sporty to be honest doesn't feel like a sporty car like sticking to the road or stuff like that uh, also I notice when I go left and right that the suspension are kind of a little bit like a boat you know also if you activate the autopilot right here for example let me show you just like that 82 and here it's 100 we can go even higher we can go to 100 speed and yes 100 and then the car should stay between the lanes it says keep your hands on the steering wheel I will have the hands here for safety but um, yeah I still want to test that to see how it's doing the autopilot it's the same autopilot that Hyundai use it's level 2 autopilot and I know it's very good from Hyundai as I test the cars there and I'm really curious how it's doing on this EV6 and until now it's doing a great job I think on the highway you shouldn't have any problem we go on the uphill, of course the, the consumption is a little bit higher, right here, it's quite fine. Let me set it again, activate it, 100, yes, and, and also the car will keep the speed uh, from the car in front because the car in front is driving slow 90, the car will will hold this speed also you can choose the the distance between the car in front if you want to go closer you press this button here and you have like one two three four four position and you can choose to stay a little bit farther away or you can choose to stay a little bit closer also it's great that you have that blind spot technology great visibility actually in the mirrors 
if you want to change the lane the autopilot will deactivate the same as on Tesla and then after all um, will take the control again after you go between the lanes and right now it's drive 100 and yeah it's doing a pretty good job on the highway I knew that it's not bad but also keep your hands on the steering wheel keep your hands here close guys because it's much more safe like that yeah here close to this truck I don't trust I don't trust no pilot no the pilot anyway regenerative brake it's incredible strong it's even stronger than in uh, Tesla uh, at maximum but you can change that we can go to level 3 it's a little bit yeah stronger but not so stronger if you go to level 2 right now it's also much much you can see it's slow down but much slower and if you go to level one it's even even lighter lighter and if you go to zero we have this zero that you don't have in a tesla and i'm i'm so sorry about that it's just rolling right now the car it's rolling so no regenerative brake only when you press the brakes you will have this regenerative brake but other than that it will rolling the car will roll 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 and that's nice that's a nice feature at least sometimes you can save more battery than regenerative uh, brake because you will not lose that heat through the process to the mechanical process of regenerative brake so yeah anyway this is this is quite nice right now we are on zero um, and also if i'm not wrong we have the lane assist active still because I already feel it before and the car will still keep between the lanes so it's quite a good system it's not as good as Tesla's one but the autopilot is still improving uh, a lot and it's it's much better now you can set the speed and then the car you can see also you have a nice icon there on the cockpit where it show you if the car it's active is this lane assist it's active or autopilot it's active it will show you a green light or a white light if it's white that means it doesn't work anyway the car feel very smooth very silent inside here also the car can read the traffic speed limit for example look at this guys here it cannot hold between the lanes it's just on some streets and sometimes uh, but on the big curves and stuff like that um, yeah it, it cannot cannot do the job so you will have to take the control always that's something to keep in mind for example um, you can try to activate it here but if it's not showing green there is that mean it doesn't work so not on all streets this system will work so that's something to keep in mind uh, yeah from this point of view Tesla autopilot it's much better um, I also have in plan to make a video with Tesla autopilot standard autopilot and then you can make a comparison but anyway in general the car it's, it's lovely and also on those curves it stay very good doesn't feel incredible sporty but um, it's it's nice it's very nice I mean in terms of um, driving feeling comfort feeling it feels super comfortable very premium right now you can see it's already see the lanes and here it's working so you have to pay attention all, always on the screen if the car sees the, the lanes for example right now it sees the lanes and it will hold the lanes for you and also you can activate the autopilot so yeah and it will actually hold between the lanes but yeah you have to pay attention yeah you see that okay yeah you, you cannot trust it guys you have to super super pay attention to the road and um, to the car it's, it's really important uh, sorry about the Sun Sun it's up today it's very nice I didn't see it for a long time so I'm happy uh, to see the Sun outside Overall, it's a nice, pleasant drive here. Also, you can deactivate autopilot from here, uh, and also the lane assist if you want to. Um, yeah, it's nice. It feels super nice. The steering wheel, it's great. Also, the grip, the control feel very nice. Also, the steering wheel, it's a little bit stiffer right now in sport mode, but still, 
it's not you know you you feel a little bit like a boat you know it's super comfortable i think they focus more on comfort than on the sporty driving and i think 80 90 percent of the people that drive on the street they want a comfortable car and not a sporty car so in general i i like that for me it's much better like that than to have a sporty car i like comfort i like when you go home from work to be comfortable and relax and have great suspension over the bumps so from this point of view it's just it's just lovely i like it very much so we have 89 percent battery left uh the consumption until now 23.1 kilowatts with all the heating on even the steering wheel heating its own even my seats are on and even the heating uh it's on and it's a great consumption in my opinion uh also it's warm and nice the steering wheel all those systems work really good um yeah it feels like a premium car to be honest and i think it's totally deserved the money i love the dashboard the visibility it's perfect um it's a wonderful car great visibility in the mirrors it's lovely anyway you can change this regenerative brake let's go to level two i think the level two for me it's it's just perfect i think level two is just it's just lovely you can go level three and then maximum right now and you can see i don't i don't press the brake it's 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 super super powerful much better than than my model 3 i noticed that yes anyway we will try an acceleration then we will go back in comfort mode it feels nice really really nice okay nobody dares and then we can try an acceleration here actually to go oh yeah nice 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 it feels nice feel great you have that power you feel that power um, that the car have it also I love those pedals you can play with those pedals right now when you go downhill for example you can put it on zero I put it on zero and just let the car roll at the speed limit um, and it's perfect because you don't lose the the energy at all it's just rolling right now you win win a lot of um, energy and then if you want to regenerate you play with the pedals here and then you go to 80 how cool is that nice lovely okay let's activate again this cruise control super simple to activate it I like how easy it is to use it yeah perfect visibility guys nothing to say about in terms of visibility around the windows mirrors co uh, in the multimedia system and cockpit is just perfect mirrors as well uh comfort steering wheel it's amazing i mean it's super practical the size is good uh it allows you to see very well right there in the front um also the seats are super comfortable um nothing to say about the seats it's it's very comfortable being here inside the cabin also it's relatively silent inside the cabin you cannot hear so much noise i can say from one to ten i would give it an an eight it's, it's quite good and now you can see it's still keep between the lanes so on the highway is doing a great job but sometimes you have to pay attention guys never trust autopilot um, trust yourself it's much better anyway go out here and we have 60 yeah lovely right now it's also working the autopilot you can see even on those kind of streets but mm, yeah pay attention to the road always pay attention guys yeah you can see oh yeah oh yeah all right all right enough with that I don't like to play like that with you anyway change the driving modes in echo we was in echo in the beginning let's go to normal mode I, I already noticed that the steering wheel it's much more lighter in normal mode and of course the acceleration should be a little bit 
Yes, the acceleration is much more smoother. In Eco mode, it's incredible smoother, the acceleration. Also, guys, the pedals, the brake pedals, it, they feel really good when you, when you press them. They feel smooth, they feel good quality. Good quality feel also um, the steering wheel and all the, the things inside the cabin here that we will talk in, a, in the other video, in the review video about that. So don't miss that video, guys, because a lot of good information will be there. In general, I like the car. I like the steering wheel, I like the feeling. Um, it's a pleasant car, it's a modern car uh, with a lot of features inside here. You have also some nice ambient light behind those buttons, a nice white ambient light. It's easy to drive, it's silent. Um, great suspension, very good suspension. I should say from 1 to 10, I will give it a 9. Um, lovely, lovely, I like it. Visibility, also 9 from 10. Uh, what what can I say? I don't know if, if something is missing inside this car. I don't know if I miss something. And I feel like it has enough power, 229 horsepower. It's enough power, even the rear wheel drive feature it's quite good also we have another feature if you press this button you go to snow mode and I think in snow mode when it's icy on the road the car will also try to somehow have a better uh, grip on the road and yeah anyway we are right now in snow mode and I don't think it will make a difference the acceleration is kind of in normal mode in comfort mode uh, but maybe on the slippery road you will have a better a grip I think that anyway yeah overall it's pleasant here are a few bumps um, that is doing a great job with them also I want to make a tour here and then we will go back um, yeah in general it's easy to drive it's it's light very similar with um, Ionic 5 for example, it's really really uh, almost the same car, same system, the only difference is the design and the exterior, the interior, but other than that it's, it's the same uh, mechanical parts, battery, motors and yeah, it's quite nice. Quite a hard intersection here, usually here was a roundabout before and now it's not more, you have to pay attention, but it's quite good. Anyway guys, um, that was the drive, I hope you enjoy it, I hope you get some useful information from it. Alright guys, we are close to the end, uh, it was a wonderful ride, I love the car, I think um, they did a great job with the car. Also what I want to show you is the reverse, if you go to reverse guys right now, you can see the reverse camera, it's just perfect, look at this great resolution it's easy to to drive and easy to park as well i will park it right here for a moment just like that it's very simple you have also the guiding lines there and then press the parking button here you have also the electric um, handbrake that was the video guys i hope you enjoy it if you like it please like it share it subscribe also my rating for this kia ev6 uh, from 1 to 10 will be 9.8 it's a great car and for the price for what it offers feel good quality the car feel premium everything here inside it's it's super super nice i cannot say how happy i am that even those cars from hyundai from kia from other car manufacturer these days come really close to mercedes bmw and all that premium brands um, they are really really good these days and i'm happy that it's so so big competition between them and they did a great job so i love the car in general so guys i just want to show you also before i end up the video is that our trip was 70.5 kilometers the consumption 90.5 kilowatt hour and we still have 88 percent battery so it's pretty good consumption in my opinion keeping in consideration the the heating it's on also the the seats was on and also the steering wheel was on so um anyway guys i will leave the link in the description if you are in switzerland around here if you want to see the car test drive the car check them out emil frey and Bern. thank you very much for watching my videos i really appreciate that guys really really appreciate uh if you still have questions ask me down below wherever you want thank you for watching guys 
stay safe and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys